Hi everybody, welcome to Japanese Cooking Lovers. This is Yuri. Today I will show you how to cook um, gobo and uh, peanut sauce. I realized that so many people watching my video, uh, my kimpira gobo, gobo recipe, and um, I realized that um, people want to know how to cook gobo, which is bardock roots, which also Western world um, or the United States, they don't have it and um, people don't know how to cook it. So this is very, very easy recipe. And, um, but also very, very um, taste good. And I got this recipe from my um, Shojin Ryori recipe. What Shojin Ryori is, um, monk's food that's used to be like a monk uh, cooked for themselves when they are practicing and they are not uh, animal protein eater. Sometimes they do still use uh, milk and stuff but basically they don't like to kill animals so uh, vegan. So I will show you how to cook this tasty recipe right now. Those are the ingredients. One tablespoon of mirin, one tablespoon of peanut butter, one cup of kombu dashi. You have to watch other video how to make it. And one cup of water and four dried mushrooms uh, soaked in there about one hour. You can make uh, dried shiitake mushroom dashi like that way. And one tablespoon of miso. Lastly, uh, of course, gobo root. Okay, I have to tell you about peanut butter. Um, in Japan, peanut butter is not popular. So um, if I want to use, Shojin Ryori has lots of peanut butter le recipe, but if I want to use peanut butter in Japan, I have to use those things and uh, make peanut butter paste from peanut. But Good news I discovered in this country uh, because it's so popular peanut butter. I can buy it, but I bought this one from uh, Whole Foods. They have peanut butter machine and I can make it. Well, I'm not making it, machine making it, but um, you know, the machine and push the button and in front of you, the peanut butter makes, um, I mean, peanut makes peanut butter. So that's kind of I'm using and you may be able to find in the jar not adding any salt or sugar kind of peanut butter. So I'm not talking about here the name big brand uh, peanut butter in United States, Jeff or Peter Pan. I am talking about only peanut peanut butter, but it's so easy to use this one instead of using this. And about miso, um, sometimes people ask me what kind of miso, um, what brand. It doesn't matter. My miso, that's my mom gave it to me. And this is white miso. I like white miso soup, so I usually buy white. And um, if the original, this recipe said red but um, you can use any kind of miso so don't worry about it and uh, just buy whatever you have over there and if you prefer red miso for miso soup that's what you eat usually use that one and if you like white whatever it's um it's good so anything's good so um, use whatever you have right now now i will show you how to cut and prepare gobo so this is gobo very long and um, I usually do wash gobo with water and use those things and just wash it like that. I use knife in this side, not that um, knife, the real cutting side, the other edge. I use that side and like this and distress the gobo skin but I don't really want to take very very clean because um, they have a nutrition at the skin. I take off this part and just cut 
like this. It is about half inch thickness. After you cut gobo, you have to leave those gobo in the water um, about 10 to 15 minutes, which I just did. Uh, this is what I did about uh, 15 minutes. And you may see the watercolor changed. First, I'm gonna cook those um, dashi, both of them, put it in the pot. Next is those gobo. Um, after take off the drain the water and I put uh, wash a little bit and uh, now it's ready to put in here everything and put this one high heat and until bring its boil and when it's boil take off the foam then turn the heat low to simmer and uh, you will cook this one till uh, gobo gets softer which is about 20 minutes it has been about 20 minutes and um, still have uh, liquid there don't cook them all and I use those things and put in, put, go through easily, easily go through. So this is ready. This is cooked. Now I put those three ingredients put together. And this is peanut and this is miso. And put together and mix together. Put this one all in here. And I use otoshibuta. If you don't have it, put, um, the small size, uh, enough to cover size um, uh, plate upside down and put in there and cook until uh, this liquid dissolved. Five to ten minutes, uh, it's ready. You will see that um, liquid is gone. Okay, so this is it and this is how it looks like. And this recipe is very easy. You just need to two, um, have two different kind of um, dashi, the stock, and everything mixed together and uh, cook till soften. So I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, recipe and video, and I really hope that you try to cook this recipe. This is Japanese Cooking Lovers, and I'm Yuri. Thanks for watching.